Bear in mind that the UK is about six times bigger than the Netherlands. The UK is a very class conscious society that is a bit pretentious. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Josephine. I'm a YouTuber based in the Netherlands. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back okay thank you for your love and support it means so so much to me okay guys so in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys how i see the uk after living in the netherlands for four years guys i kid you not i'm so shocked to even say this with my mouth that i have lived in this beautiful country for almost four whole years yes okay time flies so quickly and yeah it's just unbelievable okay okay <laughs> okay guys so without further ado let's get on with this video okay guys so i want to start out this video with a little backstory okay before moving to the netherlands i lived in the uk for two years i did my master's degree in the uk in edinburgh scotland okay and while i was in the uk i did travel a bit I, I went to london manchester a little bit around after my masters i did move back to nigeria for for a few months before moving to the netherlands to do my phd i did have an opportunity to remain in the uk uh, but i chose to move to the netherlands instead and i still do have my family members in the uk sometimes you know i kind of wonder what my life would have been if I had gone to the UK instead of moving to the Netherlands. That, to be honest, I don't know. But what I can say in earnest is that at least for, I'm enjoying my time here in the Netherlands. Okay, guys, so I kind of just put this video into sections. The first part is like the positive things that I still see about the UK after living in the Netherlands for four years. So it's like I've stepped out of the country, I've experienced a different culture. And these are the things, you know, that I, I still see as positive vibes and maybe i still i wish that i have some of that here in the netherlands and then i do have like the negative side these are things that i look at and i'm like you know what thank god that i never remained in the uk i'm very very happy to be in the netherlands right now so yeah i'll be going through both the positives and the negatives okay yeah let's start with the positive okay the first positive thing about the uk that i still see is that the country is still one of the most multicultural countries in the world okay it's still a very multicultural country and it's still very very diverse first of all the uk in itself is even made up of like four different nations so you have england you have scotland you have wales and you have ireland so and these different nations do share like different cultures even like different dialects of english <laughs> um and yeah so it's already by from origin it's already a very multicultural country then in addition to that you do have like immigrants there with really different backgrounds re different cultures and all of that as a matter of fact london is one of the most diverse cities in the entire world as a foreigner you know when you're in a multicultural and diverse country it gives you this feeling that you're not alone okay you don't feel like you're this foreigner in the midst of people that have the same culture not necessarily so you begin to feel like you know what there are other people like me or that other people that are experiencing what i'm experiencing from every other part of the world so i'll see that as a positive especially if you're a foreigner considering to move to the uk is a very multicultural and diverse place okay the next point is that i still see the uk as a beautiful country okay i did live in edinburgh when i was in the uk and edinburgh is beautiful guys it is beautiful bear in mind that the uk is about six times bigger than the netherlands It's over 240,000 square kilometers in total definitely does have you know more beautiful architecture more beautiful nature okay guys so another positive thing that i still see about the uk even after being away for so long is the politeness and the chattiness of the british culture okay so for those of you who do not know the british culture is way way more polite than the dutch culture so in the uk i feel like it's easier for you to you know start up a conversation with a random stranger you know have like this chit chat session with random people i just feel like the culture is very polite it has more homely vibes i might be wrong but that's the impression i had when i was in the uk and that's the impression i still have especially in smaller cities now another positive thing about the uk that i still you know kind of that i kind of miss sometimes here in the netherlands is that the uk especially for africans could feel like home away from home hear me out okay you do have more 
African community, or rather, let me say, English-speaking African community in the UK. And apart from that, you do have a lot of, you know, grocery stores that are catered to, like, African uh, food items and all of that. So sometimes I miss it, not all the time, because I do get a lot of things that I need here in the Netherlands. But there are a few things that I would need, and I'd be like, oh my God, when I was in the UK, I never experienced this. I never had to struggle to get this and that. So... Yeah, this is one thing I miss sometimes. That's why it's a positive for me, okay? okay? So another positive thing about the UK is that healthcare is free. And yeah, some people might come for me and be like, hey, listen, people have to pay for health insurance, especially if you're moving to the UK. And I agree, okay? You do get to pay health insurance, but you do get to pay an amount once okay once before you move to the uk you don't get to pay like health insurance every month like i do here in the netherlands so healthcare is pretty much free now another great thing about the uk that i liked when i lived there and i still think is nice is that uk is home to one of the best schools that we have in the world. The education that I got from the UK was quite good. I would say it made me more independent. So it forced me to, you know, to create, to think independently and to create my own ideas and solutions to things. I don't know if I can say this for every university, but that was my experience when I was in the UK. Yeah. So another positive thing that I still see about the UK is the British culinary, okay? The British cuisine. Listen guys, I had my best breakfast when I was in the UK. The English breakfast is by far my favorite breakfast. Shepherd's pie, English breakfast, hot pots. I mean, I did enjoy the British meal when I was in the UK. So yeah, these are some of the positive things I still see about the UK, even after living in the Netherlands for four years. So yeah, let's go on to the negatives, okay? <laughs> now, another way that I still see the UK, especially after living in the Netherlands for four years, is that the UK is a very class, is a class conscious society, okay? Now, when I moved to the UK, okay, I didn't think that the UK was class conscious. And that was because I was moving from Nigeria, okay? Nigeria is a very, very, very class conscious society. So we literally address people or give respect depending on your class, okay? We kind of rate, rank people according to how much money that they have, how prosperous they are, and we tend to compare ourselves with each other and all of that. Keeping up with the Joneses in Nigeria is like a whole new level, okay? So when I moved to the UK, I felt like, you know what, the UK is not really class conscious, and that was simply because I was comparing it to where I was coming from. But now that I've lived in the in the Netherlands for four years, I'm like, hey, UK is a very class conscious society. I think it has a lot to do with the monarchy, but still the Netherlands also has a monarchy. So I don't know if that's the reason. I still see the UK as a very class conscious society. People care more about, you know, material things. And you get to experience more public display of wealth in the UK than you do here in the Netherlands. Okay, guys. So another aspect of the UK uh, that I see not in a very good light, especially after living in the, in the Netherlands, is the healthcare system, okay? I know that I did mention it in the positive uh, side that, you know, healthcare is almost free, even for foreigners in the uk which you know is a positive however okay in the uk healthcare could be an absolute nightmare okay you could wait for weeks in order to get an appointment with your gp not your not a specialist with your gp i mean i remember in the uk oh my goodness sometimes to get appointment with the gp you really have to you know pretend to be very very sick for you to be able to get appointments and be checked so yeah healthcare in the uk i would say is not that great in comparison to what we have here in the netherlands so yeah in a way i'm glad that i do have an option to pay for healthcare and get you know a better quality for my money i don't mind that so yeah that's also an aspect of the uk that i'm like mm, no thanks okay, guys. so another perception of the uk that i think has changed uh, for the worst, I would say, since I moved to the Netherlands, is the British culture of politeness, okay? Yes, I did mention it yet again as a positive because I feel like at the surface, you know, it seems like the British people are much nicer, much polite. They care more about your feelings and all of that. But the flip side of this is that sometimes you people are not direct. They can be so 
polite to a point that they kind of lose the message, lose some level of honesty, or they're not able to express exactly how they feel. Okay. Now that I've lived in the Netherlands, the Dutch culture is very, very direct. So people tell you exactly how they feel and they are not, they're not scared to step on your toes. If it means that, you know, you, they let you know exactly the truth and they don't mince words, you know, they don't go round and round trying to make you feel better or whatever. They just tell you the truth. And, and the good side of this is that at every point you kind of know where you stand. Okay. You kind of know that this person has told me whatever it is that they have in mind. And if this person um, has an issue with me, the person has kind of addressed it. Okay. In the UK, it's a bit different. It's not a direct culture at all. It's like quite the opposite. People are more polite. People are, care really well about your emotions. But the challenge is that sometimes it could feel like it could come across that they're being pretentious because they're not telling you exactly how they feel. And yeah, sometimes the way they act is different from what they are saying. So it makes it look as if they're a bit pretentious. People's actions sometimes don't match up with the, what they're saying and that's simply because they may be difficult they may be finding it difficult to communicate how they truly truly feel because they don't want to offend you now that i've lived in the, the netherlands i see the positive and negative aspect of having a polite culture okay so the final point that i have um, on how i see the uk after living in the netherlands for four years is that the UK seems to be a much more disorganized uh, country when it comes to uh, public service. I'm thinking about it right now, the Netherlands is definitely a much cleaner city, a much cleaner country. And you know, things are a bit more organized, you know, when it comes to cleanliness. I remember a story, right? I lived in Edinburgh. So I remember in the area that I lived, um, it was not the nicest area, to be honest. I was a student, so I couldn't really afford so much luxury. So I remember taking a picture in uh, my area and then I posted this picture on Instagram and then I tagged the location as Edinburgh United Kingdom. And then I remember someone coming to my page and saying, no way that is Edinburgh. There is no way that you have like litters on the street and all and the street is looking uh, dirty like that. And I was like, yeah, but I live in Edinburgh. And I remember where I lived wasn't even too far away from the city center. So I was like, I responded. I was like, who is this? Just leave my page, okay? <laughs> Public service in the Netherlands is way more organized than in the UK. My goodness. I remember my experience with, H with HMRC. My goodness. It could take like applications that you would make that should take maybe two months or three months could easily easily take up to six months i remember in the uk it, oh my goodness the delay could be heartbreaking okay and then sometimes some of the errors that they make oh my god i can't even stand okay guys do let me know if you're a dutchie who has ever lived in the uk or who is currently living in the uk do let me know some of the differences that you've experienced between the two countries and the two cultures okay do let me know in the comment section i'm very very curious to know thank you guys once again for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please consider subscribing it will mean so much to me thank you guys once again for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye